Hello everyone, Eat Sleep from the Techies here, and I'm going to be going over some motion blur effects in uh, Paint.net. So, uh, motion blurs, you can use them for like a car, or to make it look like someone's running or something, but I'm going to go ahead and use a car. So, I'm going to get a picture here. This Bugatti we got here, very large image. So, I'm going to be applying the motion blur effect to the back of the car wheel and the front wheel a little bit. Uh, if you want to do this really well, it kind of can be pretty difficult because um, it does take multiple tries. You can't just do it on your first try. Well, you probably could, but I'd be pretty lucky. So, let me get that out of here. So we're going to go ahead and use the lasso tool. It's this, like, lasso. <laughs> and um, it took me a while to figure out how this worked, but what you do is you just drag it along where you want your uh, motion blur to be. So, like, here, around the tire. I'm just doing a rough, rough job here, so it's not going to look too good. So we have that lassoed off. Next, we're going to go to effects blurs and down here to motion blur right there and that's what i that's like the preset i have it at right now but you can always change the angle if you want it to go down we're gonna leave it like that so it looks like it's driving increase the blur a little bit but not too much because then it looks too obvious so i think 11 is good check that out escape and go back to normal good good so you can see it kind of looks like it's blurred out right there the back tire so there we go there next we're going to work on the front wheel now this one's going to be a little more difficult so we're going to go back into our lasso tool and actually zoom out one two good and basically what i want to do is i want to get the wheel and just a little bit off of the wheel from the back so it doesn't look too fake so I'm just gonna take this wheel here a little bit off the back like that like so effects and we can just re repeat the motion blur like that and uh, that actually looks really bad because I did a bad job so I'm just gonna quickly redo it okay so there we go, we have a uh, motion blur applied to the front and back wheels. Now, if you really wanted to make this car look like it was moving, you'd have to like add some motion blurs to different parts of the car and to the background and all kinds of stuff. But this is pretty much just a intro to that. So I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Thank you for watching. This has been Eat Sleep from the Techie. Be sure to check out the Techies website for great game and software reviews, as well as a database of all Techies videos. Also, please sign up to our forum where you can request a tutorial or just talk about something that interests you.